Want to know which issues and faults are affecting Cybertruck owners so far? Well, buckle up and let's get started. Tesla's Cybertruck is proof of what can be done if you don't care what the naysayers say. Despite the huge hurdles that stood in the way of getting this groundbreaking vehicle to market, Tesla's final production truck not only looks like the prototype, but is also now quickly catching up with Ford's F-150 Lightning in terms of new monthly registrations. With well over 5,000 Cybertrucks delivered so far, what do owners, rather than the mainstream media, think of their vehicles? And what are the problems, if any, that they've experienced? In this video, we won't be tackling panel fit and finish issues, nor the Cybertruck's rivet accelerator fix, but rather other problems that owners have reported, which require them to make service appointments with Tesla for unscheduled fixes. First up is the critical issue detected alert, indicating a possible issue with one of the multiple redundant sensors or actuators within the Cybertruck's electrical or steer-by-wire system. Even vehicles with VINs up to 9,000 have been experiencing the issue, which has two possible outcomes. When this alert does occur, the Cybertruck loses speed and limits its power output gradually. Once stopped, and after the vehicle is put into park with the parking brake applied, it will allow you to accept the stated condition by choosing Accept Override, meaning that it can be moved out of park and repositioned to allow for a tow truck to recover it. Some others have found that, as per Tesla's handbook, exiting and re-entering the Cybertruck may clear the alert and restore functionality. If no further alert messages occur, then you're good to go without scheduling service. However, a reoccurrence is quite likely given feedback from owners so far. And, from what we understand, depending upon the repair needed, it can take at least 10 to 15 days, including replacing the power conversion system. What's more, others have experienced the domino effect, with errors relating to rear steering, the high voltage system, powertrain, and adaptive ride height all showing. In that case, it may be a low voltage wire harness failure that triggers multiple alerts on various controller nodes. Or again, an issue with the PCS, which manages most of the loads on the 48 volt battery. Ghost alerts, such as automatic emergency braking being unavailable, have also been appearing on the touchscreens of owners' cyber trucks intermittently. In many cases, on a subsequent drive, the alert will clear and it won't require you to schedule service. That may also apply to a whole host of other alerts, such as adaptive ride control degraded, traction control or stability control disabled. In most cases, a walkaway reset will clear the alerts, although any repeat occurrence within a short time requires you to schedule service for an investigation. Next up, tonneau cover issues with the Cybertruck. In some cases, if the cover doesn't open or close smoothly with a full press, then it's necessary to recalibrate it. The easiest way to achieve this is by following touchscreen instructions, although it can also be done manually by pressing and holding the open button until fully open, then by pressing and holding the close button until fully closed. Recalibration often also solves issues with water ingress into the load bed. However, where there's a clear misalignment with the cover, including poorly finished trim positioning, you'll need to schedule a service as recalibration won't remedy such issues. Inverter oil pump failure. The following alert has been experienced by several Cybertruck owners and requires either a replacement pump or an over-the-air update to prevent cavitation of the front motor, which results in error codes. Other Tesla models, including the Y and 3, have also experienced the problem. Some owners have experienced misalignment of the wiper over the outside edge of the windscreen and body. This is easily remedied with an 18mm socket to adjust the nut attaching the wiper arm to the vehicle. However, of more concern is how the wiper wobbles at speed. According to Tesla, the Cybertruck's wiper arm may occasionally pause in the horizontal position for approximately 30 seconds, while slight movement at speed is also completely normal. In fact, it's an aerodynamic feature, just one that's been confusing owners on Cybertruck forums. Early Cybertruck adopters aren't too enthralled with the vehicle's wireless charger location being exposed to sunshine and heat from its glass roof. iPhones in particular appear most susceptible 
with overheat warnings frequently interrupting charging. At present, there's no official fix, but OTA updates could be a possibility if Tesla conclude there's a specific issue with pad placement on the Cybertruck. Frunk fluid faults. Whoa, that's a mouthful. Many will have seen the car wizard remove Tyler Hoovey's frunk cover to reveal a leaking windscreen washer connection. Other owners have not only experienced this issue, but also one for leaking brake fluid hoses and reservoir tanks too. In both cases, there's no underlying design fault, but rather poor quality control during assembly. However, such faults are annoying as they require Tesla service to remove the frunk tray itself. We expect these issues to lessen, however, as deliveries ramp up. Those are the big ones so far. However, with most other errors, it's possible to power cycle the Cybertruck if it demonstrates unusual behavior or displays a nondescript alert. First, shift into park. On the touchscreen under controls and then safety, choose power off. Then, without interacting with the Cybertruck, wait two minutes before depressing the brake pedal and then open the driver's door to wake the vehicle. So, in summary, a rushed, subpar handover experience and multiple alerts only a few hundred miles into the life of some Cybertrucks has rightly spooked new owners. However, overall, Tesla gets a C-plus for its launch. But if they can up production and improve quality, Cybertruck naysayers will be silenced for sure. We ourselves think it's a cool, iconic product that will be a permanent feature for decades to come and we'll be posting future issues from owners on this channel going forward. So subscribe now to be kept informed as deliveries ramp up. Until next time.